Shalawan. To whom this may apply, you gotta let go, man, you know? You worry too much and, and you expect too much. And tight. So I'ma drop this, you know what I'm saying? I feel it in my heart, but I never explained it well. So I'ma attempt to try to turn this into words for you, you know? Because when I started feeling like this, it seemed like the father just started like dropping, e I mean, everything in my lap, right? Everything. So take heed. Take heed. I don't need much, I just be chillin', I don't got the guess and be y'all in the scriptures, he's showing me things, he be painting me pictures, I don't need the hustle, the father's just giving. I don't need much, really I'm blind, I don't need to see, I don't need no wise, I don't need to think, cause he in my mind, and he is my weapon, I don't need to fight, I don't need much. I open the book and I read these decisions I'm never confused, I see the description I watch how he move, I don't need my opinion Careful for nothing, if it's his will Then it's gon' be and nobody can change it And if he don't want it, then he gon' erase it Period, the food, just like he made it So I don't need much What's that, that's easy to be entreated I don't need much That mean you Easy to be entreated I don't need much Yeah, yeah. what you call that? Easy to be entreated Uh-huh Yeah Uh-huh <laughs> Easy to be entreated Man, I'm like Adam, still back in the garden and eating them Simple little dinner day up Everything new, I admire my critters I put on my fig leaf If it's cold, ain't nothing that complicated Any situation rise up, it's a profit that rub it And if you thinking it ain't in the scriptures And hanging, it must not have been that in Paul Well, you feeling like you gotta do this and do all of that Trying to get your resolve If it don't fit, don't force it Of course it didn't go smooth That was a fault But if it's natural, you ain't gonna have to go out of your way it it just fit, and if it don't, then that's what you want It was never was planned, it never was meant And you gotta learn how to be just fine with that Trusting him in his decree See, the father know better than we It was for our protection, he's saving us green Could've costed our earthly life Could've cost our eternal life Only he know when the day gon' come When he's showing it to us Everything gon' be revealed at the throne Gonna be like, oh So that one day I was late out I had a car accident And that one bag you didn't let me get Would've left me the unforgivable sin Sending his angels to step in the way And protect us like you would protect your kin And we be pouting, having meltdowns Temper tantrums like we just turned 10, but I don't need much. I just be chilling. I don't got the guess. It be y'all in the scriptures. He's showing me things. It be painting me pictures. I don't need to hustle. The father's just giving. I don't need much. Really, I'm blind. I don't need to see. I don't need no wise. I don't need to think. Cause he in my mind. And he is my weapon. I don't need to fight. I don't need much. I open the book and I read these decisions I'm never confused, I see the description I watch how he move, I don't need my opinion Careful for nothing, if it's his will Then it's gon' be and nobody can change it And if he don't want it, then he gon' erase it Period, well, just like he made it So I don't need much Why do you care about that so much? Easy to be entreated, I don't need much Let it go What's that? That's easy to be entreated. I don't need much. What that is? Yeah, what you call that? Easy to be entreated. Do all things without murmuring. That mean you. Easy to be entreated. I don't need much. Come on. When the foundation of the earth, it was laid out. All we do is watch it just play out. All I'm doing is pushing this praise out. Never holding my breath for the blessing and stressing. It be here whenever it rain down. I can do all things through the shine, including discomfort. It ain't no big thing now. If I lay down in the ditch, I be falling asleep. With a smile on my face When you're living the peace of the holy creator Or higher you'd be surprised what you can take Get out of the break Cast all your cares upon him Cast all your prayers upon him You always in trouble You ready to buckle He wants you to cast your repairs upon him He is a healer Ain't nobody realer He understand you when nobody don't fear you And he is the reason nobody can kill you Get jealous about you He won't let them steal you He said they ain't plucking you out of his hand No Throw it away all you had No Selling yourself for the bands No None of that there will he have no, nah, you gon' get right Walk in the faith, never by sight Out of the dark, into the light And due to the end, keeping it tight Doing your best, going hard for him And claiming the victory and all the glory Y'all be having so much fun in this troop I be level to level, but never get boring I don't need much I just be chilling, I don't got the guess It be y'all in the scriptures, he's showing me things He be painting me pictures, I don't need to hustle The father's just giving, I don't need much Really, I'm blind, I don't need to see I don't need no wise, I don't need to think Cause he in my mind, and he is my weapon I don't need to fight, I don't need much I don't I open the book and I read these decisions I'm never confused, I see the description I watch how he move, I don't need my opinion Careful for nothing, if it's his will Then it's gon' be and nobody can change it And if he don't want it, then he gon' erase it Here, the food, just like he made it So I don't need much Uh, I'm on.
Is it a being traded? I don't need much. Yeah. Is it a being traded? I don't need much. Yeah. Easy to be in trader. Gotta be easy to please, you know. Yeah. Easy to be in trader. Yeah. I don't need much. I want no problems with you, yeah. brother. Easy to be in trader. I don't need much. Woo! Easy to be in trader. I don't need much. Yeah. Easy to be in trader. All the decisions are already made. Yeah. Easy to be in trader. All we gotta do is just surrender to him. Read, 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 read the Bible. James 3 and 17. But the wisdom that is from above. How do we know that our wisdom is coming from above? But the wisdom that is from above is first pure. Because it's pure, it's single, it's not mixed with anything. There is no hidden agenda or ulterior motive or none of that. You know, it ain't no catch in the fine print. You know how the front of the advertisement will say 100% pure. Then you get to reading that smaller print and finding lies. Well, nah, this ain't that. This is 100% pure. It's only one ingredient, right? So the wisdom from above is pure. And what else is it? Then peaceable. It's peaceable, it desires peace, come on. Gentle, it's gentle, right? It's not aggressive. It doesn't believe it can get anything by force, con. It's gentle and it's what? And easy to be entreated. Cub bang, it's easy to be entreated. It doesn't take a lot to get it to do what it should, right? It's not a whiner. It doesn't take a lot to satisfy it. It's not meticulous, right? It's just like whatever, you know? This is fine, this will do. It's not hard to ask to do something. Feel me, it's obedient, it complies. It's teachable, it's shapeable, it's ready to be molded, it's simple, it's not difficult, huh? It's not greedy, kind of none of that. You can't make it or break it, so what? It doesn't care because it was whole and settled and content before you even came walking up, right? That's easy to be entreated. That's the one that the most high is watching right there and go, yeah, that one right there. I'ma bless that one right there, huh? I'ma spoil that one right there with whatever he, she want right there, right? Telling y'all, fam, this is how you win his heart right here. This is the opposite of what happened in the wilderness coming out of Egypt, right? Where the most high was grieved with us, where we was being hard to please, where we was being a hand in his butt, huh? And he expressed that. But nah, this is easy to be entreated right here. That's wisdom from above to be that way. It's not difficult to please. Hold up, that's bringing another one to mind. Precept, get it again. Philippians 4 and 6 through 8. Be careful for nothing. Cub power straight out the gate. Be careful for nothing. Stop caring so much, right? Everybody always talking about leaving something in the Father's hand, but hardly anybody ever does it, right? Leave it in the Most High's hands, right? Get out his way. Let him show you his protection. Give him a chance to show you that he is there, right? Oh, I gotta do this. Oh, I gotta do that. Oh, I gotta secure this. Did I lock that? Oh, if I don't do this, that's gonna happen. Oh, if I don't show up and show out and deliver this, then I'm gonna suffer like that, right? Fear. Constant fear of malfunction or mishap. Or something bad happening, right? An obsession with preventing something from going wrong all the time. Like the most high gonna let something happen to you all the time, right? Nah, be careful for nothing. Put your faith in him. He want us to trust him. He want us to surrender and stretch our arms all the way out and close our eyes and just fall backward freely right knowing okay knowing that he's gonna catch us that's the kind of faith the most high want to see us having him okay he don't want us closing our eyes and sneaking peeks backwards right still trying to halfway see behind us so that we can brace ourselves just in case he not there <laughs> nah he don't want us to hold our arms out and fall back but really ready to reach back with our hands and break our fall huh? nah that's showing him that we don't trust him so if you do this and he let you hit that ground and splash all up on this garment, okay? Don't blame me, okay? Don't blame your brother, brother. Blame your faith, right? This is telling us to be careful for nothing. Hold on, let's freeze this right quick and meet me at Matthew 6. Matthew 6 and 26 through 27. Behold the fowls of the air. Look at the birds in the sky. Consider how they live. For they sow not, neither do they reap, nor gather in the barn. They ain't worried about if it's gonna be food for them trying to pack they nest until it's running over, are they? Why not? Yet your heavenly father feedeth them. Cause the father gonna feed them. The father provides, right? Now see, this is where our faith gotta kick in. Oh, what about if you don't work, you don't eat? Ain't that in the scripture? Yeah, it is. That's a condition, huh? Were we to stay there forever? Or is it possible for us to elevate from that? Con, if that's your faith and that's where you want to stay, then hey, who am I to tell you not to do that? Stay there. Oh, what about through the sweat of thy face shalt thou eat bread? See what I'm saying? All of them is cursed. You want to be cursed forever? All of that came as a result of disobeying the Most High. You can continue to do that if you want to. You can work that hard if you want to, but you don't have to. Even if you choose to get right and follow the commandments and do all of that, you could do right by them and keep his commandment and then still ascribe to the curses and, and suffer the curses if you want to. That's on you. 
And we back in Egypt again with ships. Yeah, we're back in Egypt again with ships. Okay, fine. If that's your faith, but my faith is different. My faith is this right here. Where long as we are in line with the Father's commandments, that he's going to provide for me like he been providing for me, like he providing for them birds, right? Let's read it. Are ye not much better than they? Are we not much better than these birds? Matthew 10 and 31. Matthew 10 31 answer that. Is our value not more than many sparrows? And a sparrow a bird? A sparrow a bird, ain't it? Okay, then. You worth more to the most high than some birds, right? Than many birds. If he'll feed a bird, he'll feed you then, right? If your faith is lining up correctly, how do we prove our faith? By our works, right? What is our work? Is it how well we could go to work and slave and sweat it out for ourselves? Or a boss? Or is it how well we can go to work and sweat it out and slave for the most high? Uh-huh. So pick your boss. Now, we could argue this part all day. Pick your boss. If it's your faith to work for yourself, then that's how you eat. But at the same time and in real life, Ain't nobody can tell me that my stomach ain't full and my family ain't fed and I don't own all the stuff I own with no degrees, okay, no career, no employer where I done spent a whole bunch of years punching his clock and climbing his ranks at his occupation, none of that. All Matthew 6 and 33, okay, putting the most high first in his righteousness and having all things be added unto me that way in return because of it, right, okay, because of my faith, because that's my faith. There is no limit on faith, all right, or what we can work our faith to make manifest into our reality, con. It moves mountains. Ask them birds. 27. 27. Which of you, by taking thought, can add one cubit unto his statue? Which of us, with our thoughts, can add anything to the Most High, the Creator of the heaven and the earth? Is there anything that we can think to do that he can't? Okay, this is telling us that he don't need our help. Do what he say, walk in his love, keep his commandments, and reap, and be fed. This pertains to anything and everything that we could possibly need. Okay, all the way down to our strength and emotions. Worry who? Worry for what? Okay, precept. Get it again. Uh, I'm on. First Peter 5 and 7. Casting all your cares upon him. Casting all your cares upon him. The cast is to throw, right? So throw your cares upon him. Toss him. Whatever it is that you're worried about. Anything that you could possibly care about. Throw it. Yeah, that too. Throw it. What you worried about? Your bills? Your love life? What? Your children? Your job? Your social life? What? Okay, whatever it is. Send it spiraling to the most high like a football, okay? He ready to catch anything you worried about like you a quarterback or something. So that you could serve him in peace. Cast all your cares upon him. And why should you do this? For he careth for you. Cut back. Worth many sparrows. Because he cares for you like he care for them birds. Like he provide for them birds. Like he doing everything for them birds. Ain't you worth more than them birds? Okay, because he cares for you. That's why. You ain't by yourself. He ready to show you that he's there. You keeping his commandments? You waking up in the mornings with him on your mind? You keeping Sabbaths and watching what you eating and, and the dietary law and all that, you know what I'm saying? You making efforts in your life doing different little things to try to please the most high and all of that? You a praying person and all this? Then you are a person that cares for him. And guess what? He cares for you. And he ready to show you he do. So why are you still watchdogging and standing guard over all your interests at the same time, right? Nah, relax. He will do that. Precept. Get it some more. John 10 and 27 through 20. Not. My sheep hear my voice. His sheep hear his voice. Are you his sheep? Do you hear his voice? Okay, did you hear him just tell you to cast all your cares upon him? Okay then. Obey that voice that's telling you to cast all your cares upon him. Again, why should you do this? And I know this. Cause, man, because he knows you because he cares for you, right? He know who you are. He created you. He know he called you and he know you heard his voice. Okay, and he know you heard his voice because you are his sheep. How do you know you his sheep? And they follow me. Because you follow him. Cub bang, that's why. Because you're doing what that voice told you to do. That's what makes you his sheep. Do you believe in the water baptism because he did it? Are you trying to walk in love because he told you to? Do you believe you got to do what his father said to do in the law? Are you changing and rearranging things in your life to serve the Allah High? See, because if you ain't doing that, then that's why you worried in the first place, right? That's the reason why we worry. We're not going to be wicked in our hearts and not worry. That's first and foremost. That was one of the curses, to be scared, right? To be afraid. He set that up that way according to Deuteronomy 28 in, Le in Leviticus that you ain't gonna never find no peace or no rest as long as you're not willing to do what he told you to do, right? So that's all we gotta do. If you're listening to what righteousness is telling us to do, then you're automatically gonna run into cash your cares upon him, right? And you're gonna do it. Period. But if not, then your mind alone will always condemn you, right? And have you on the edge of your seat, expecting and waiting to reap what you sow, right? 
for the way that you behave or for the way that you're not behaving, right? Okay, that's a given. This only applies to you if you are his sheep and you hear his voice and you follow it. And depending on how well you handle the that, then what? 28, then I give them eternal life. Then kabang, then he gonna give you eternal life. So this is even beyond here in this presence, right? When do we think that starts, I am? After death? No, that can start right here. You can cast all your cares upon him or you can hold on to your cares and keep burdening yourself. That's on you. Both arms full, trying to hold on to all of these cares, right? Got two arms full of cares, trying to hold the top down with your chin, right? You got cares falling to the left, boom, you know? Cares falling to your right. You dropping cares, trying to pick up other cares that you done dropped. Reaching down trying to pick up a care and dropping another care while you reaching down trying to pick that one up okay <laughs> you have become a collector of cares okay having cares framed and hanging them up on your wall okay you have gold-plated cares okay you having cares bronzed and sitting them by your fireplace okay a collector of care who got you you got some care give me your cares right a collector of care souvenirs okay be careful for nothing or you can disobey this and be careful for everything worried about everything stressed out about everything mad hot and fire about everything Satan can just jump up and just ruin your whole day whenever he feel like it, right? Nah, not if you just shy a sheep and you hear his voice and you follow it and he give you eternal life. Then what can Satan do? You see that? And they shall never perish. Cause bang, Satan can't do nothing to you then, okay? Death ain't no threat to you then. Not a physical death or a spiritual death, okay? Can't nobody put a gun to your head and make you do nothing, right? Pull your trigger then, man. What you waiting for? Okay, that's power. They shall never perish. That's how we should feel about our problems. That should give us liberation and everything we deal with all day every day a problem jump up you look at it hmm will this keep me out of the kingdom no huh they shall never perish why not neither shall any man pluck them out of my hand because Yeshia got you in his hand that's why what are you worried about now what has happened to those cares okay what matters after you belong to the most high in Christ so what 29 29 my father which gave them me is greater than all Christ is saying okay that my father is even stronger than me and no man is able to pluck them out of my father's hand none can pluck you out of the father's hand where are those cares now how is there a problem now how are we worried about anything now how is anything burdening us that ain't strong enough to pluck us out of our father's hand or his son's hand you see that be careful for nothing cast all your cares upon him precept get it again first corinthians 14 and 33 for a higher is not the author of confusion for the most high is not the author of confusion you confused then it ain't coming from him we kick this off of what the wisdom of the most high is remember it is first pure then peaceable and so on he's not the author of confusion he is plain okay simple okay he is the original complications come after what is original gets altered right like hold up what is that right that doesn't belong there okay remove that thank you to water now nah, get that out the mix right everything is simple if it's of the most high right anything complicated or confusing okay satan is somewhere in the mix if you were ever in this situation and you don't know what to do then do nothing stand back put your hands in your pocket and let the father reveal it huh don't even think about it does it blaspheme the holy spirit no okay then let it be what it is correct it later when you know how to handle it when you do know what to do right because satan is lurking in the shadows ready to capitalize off of you making the wrong decision in your confusion right the father ain't the one who put that scenario before you or the author of confusion right the father has nothing to gain from you being confused all right he's not the author of that but what is he the author of but a peace but a peace he is peace right the wisdom of the most high is peaceable ain't it okay that's the most high he is peace he is pleasant right you know exactly what to do when he's the one who's bringing a situation before you right you know for a fact that this is wrong this is right and you make a firm decision and choose whether you want to do right or you want to do the wrong thing right con that's on you what you choose you know if you choose wrong to be ready for some chaos right you know that ain't over same way how you know if you choose right then that's peace ain't it that's the most high. Everything is already laid out. Only decision we really making is do I want to do right or wrong? Everything else is there, right? We don't have to create a decision to make. It's being handed to us. Give me some more. James chapter 1 verse 20. For the wrath of man worketh not the righteousness of the most high. The wrath of a man don't work the righteousness of Ohio, okay? Let's pull that wrath right there. What kind of wrath is this talking about? It's G3709. G3709. And it means anger, vengeance, and indignation. 
situation. So off top, whatever you trying to make happen because you are angry is not the righteousness of the Most High. And you are being careful about the wrong things. What else to say? Vengeance. Anything you got to do because you feel like somebody needs to pay for something, right? Something that they did. Or because you think something is unfair. Anything you do in that spirit is not the righteousness of the Most High. And you are being careful about the wrong things. What was the last one? Indignation? Okay, that's just all out rage right there, right? Anything you got to force to happen physically or otherwise is not the righteousness of the Most High. And you are being careful about the wrong thing. Okay, you in the Most High way at this point. Most High said vengeance is his, ain't it? Okay, so when the Most High tell you that vengeance is mine, that's like the Most High saying, leave him alone, I'm going to get him later. And you like, nah, I'm going to get him right now. <laughs> Huh? Better chill, you gonna mess around and he gonna be the guy you right now, okay? The wrath of men work not the righteousness of the most high. That mean if something ain't working your way, then it wasn't meant to and you need to chill because the father got other plans, right? Life becomes a whole lot more easier and painless when we realize we can't make things work no way that he don't want them to work. Everything is working exactly the way how he wants them to work. He don't need us forcing nothing. Okay, the wrath of the man work, not the righteousness of the most high. That's a whole nother song in itself right there. Can't wait for it. That's what vengeance is mine mean. Okay, that's what righteous over much mean, ain't it? Calm because you're gonna destroy yourself trying to force what you want and then he's still gonna turn it around and get it his way in the end anyway, right? Why should you die before your time? You see that? You didn't have to die for that. <laughs> so yeah, go find something else to put your time and energy in too. Keep your hands in your pocket and speak his word. And if they are his sheep, then kabang, they gonna hear his voice. Even if it's coming from you and they gonna follow it, and he gonna give them eternal life. And none will pluck him out of his hand. Don't worry about it. What's that? Man, I'm telling you, this is loaded. Ecclesiastic is 3 and 23, ain't it? Be not curious in unnecessary matters, con. So don't worry about that, but what should we be worried about? Let's finish that for Philippians 4 we started back there. Yeah, that go right with this. Full circle. Let's get back to that and go out with that. Philippians 4 and 6 through 8. Be careful for nothing. Don't care about nothing. But in everything, by prayer and supplication, pray for what ain't in your reality. With thanksgiving, be thankful for what you do have in your reality. Let your request be made unto the Most High or higher. Let your request be made to the Father. Don't try to force it yourself. Go to the Most High for it, right? Seven, in the peace of the Most High. And the peace of the Most High, okay? That's easy to be entreated, right? That wisdom that's from above, right? That wisdom that is first pure, right? That wisdom that is peaceable. What else? is this wisdom which passeth all understanding okay that peace that pass all understanding shall keep your hearts and minds it'll rest on your heart right you'll feel peace inside you and where else it said your mind it'll rest on your thoughts right the power punchline is that a worry in your mind if the peace of the most high that pass all understanding rest on your mind does that sound like you need to do this that and the other to get things to work your way or are you just chilling? Kind of the rest on your mind. Did it rest on your thoughts? Does that sound like a burden? Does that sound like you need to be on the edge of your seat? Impatient like, man, hurry up, right? Nah. Does that sound like you have a feeling inside like, man, this is taking too long, right? And blah, blah. This don't sound like that to me. No, your heart and mind is at peace. You don't care how long it takes, right? You just get there whenever it get there. That sound peace right there, family. That's careful for nothing right there. That's easy to be entreated right there. Easy to be medicated. Easy to be directed, easy to be used. Don't you want to be used by the most high? Go back. And how is it that we have received this? Through Christ Yahshua. Through Yeshaya, that's how. Because Yeshaya up there pulling them strings, right? What's St. John 14 and 13 through 14 say? If you ask in my name, Mama, come pow. There it is there. Last verse, verse 8. Let's get out of here. Finally, brethren, finally, my brothers and sisters, this what you'll be putting your mind and your thoughts into right here. Come on with it. Whatsoever things are true, is it the truth? Whatsoever things things are on it. Okay, is it rich in integrity? Okay, can you hit a level off of it? Whatsoever things are just, is it just? Is it fair? Whatsoever things are pure, is it original or is it a remake? Is it 100% pure on the front advertisement? What about in the fine print? Is it still claiming to be pure in the fine print? Come on. Whatsoever things are love, is it of the love? Whatsoever things are a good report, is it the good news, huh? Is it the gospel? If there be any virtue, does it have more? And if there be any praise, does it praise the most high Think on these things. Then put your mind there. Spend time there. Okay, collect that. Okay, drink yourself to 
the full. Think on these things. Withdraw yourself from complicated matters, family, okay? They don't cater to your ticket into this eternal life, right? Okay, it's a trap and a blocker of your peace. And I'm your brother, brother, bronze, boomy the group. BWO, we taking over, keeping it active. GOCC in these last days. Happy Blue Year, happy Passover, and all of that, and all of that. Love y'all. Shalom, I'm I. Luke chapter 12 and 26 through 32. If ye then be not able to do that thing which is least, why take ye thought for the rest? 27. Consider the lilies how they grow. grow, grow. They toil not, they spin not. And yet I say unto you, that Solomon in all his glory was not arrayed like one of these. 28, if then the Most High so clothed the grass, which is today in the field, and tomorrow is cast into the oven, how much more will he clothe you, O ye of little faith? 29, and seek not ye what ye shall eat, or what ye shall drink, neither be ye of doubtful mind. 30, for all these things do the nation, of the world seek after, and your father knoweth that ye have need of these things. 31, but rather seek ye the kingdom of the most high Yahweh, and all these things shall be added unto you. 32, fear not, little flock, for it is your father's good pleasure to give you the king, 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 to give you the king, give you the king, give you the king, give you the king, to give you the kingdom.